No, investigators on Tuesday revealed that vehicle that claimed the lives of world marathon record holder Kelvin Kiptum and his Rwandis coach Gavai Sakizimana had no mechanical issues. According to El Geyo Marakwet Police Commander Peter Mulinge, a mechanical inspection report following an assessment of Kelvin Kiptum's Toyota Premium on Monday and Tuesday shows the vehicle was mechanically fit in all aspects. He said this and I quote, the examiner said there was no pre accident evidence of a mechanical breakdown which basically means it had good brakes tires lights everything mechanically okay according to the investigations however other aspects of the accident investigation continues end of quote Kiptum was driving his Toyota Primo with two passengers on board Gavai's end of female identified as Sharon Kosgei when the accident happened at 11 p.m. near Flag Center in the Kaptagat area along the Eldoret Ravine Road from the Eldoret side according to the police report KO South Sub-County Police Boss Dahir Abdullahi told them Cuba News on Tuesday that a preliminary report by mechanical investigators had ruled out any mechanical problems with the athlete's vehicle before the accident indicating that investigators suspect the vehicle might have been at high speed due to the impact. He said this and I quote, going by the assessment report, the vehicle was in good condition, end of quote. A combined team of investigators from the National Transport Safety Authority, NTSA, the Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenham, and police investigators are handling the probe. NTSA Road Safety Strategy Manager said this and I quote, the team comprises road auditors who are looking at the terrain of the area and the road condition and motor vehicle inspectors looking at the mechanical state of the ill-fitted vehicle, end of quote. The team has since Monday been trying to piece together events that led to the tragic accident according to an earlier preliminary report shared by El Gayo Maracot Police Commander Peter Mulinge on Sunday night following the accident kept him lost control of the vehicle which then veered off the road landing in a ditch about 60 meters away before hitting a big tree apart from the mechanical assessment of the vehicle investigators will also be banking on the post-mortem report of both the athlete and his coach for further clues as well as talking to witnesses who arrived at the scene first this is some cuba news